finally here, if you need to buy or sell Foot23 coins, then go and check out u7buystore.com. Their link is down in the description. Use code CAPGUN to get yourself a discount. You right guys, it's CAPGUN Tom here, and welcome back to another episode of Team Takedown. The outdoor intros have returned. I hope you guys enjoy them. Now, we're gonna have a bit of a natter before we get into today's Team Takedown on none other than Road to the Knockout Paqueta. We are going to be talking about Something that's kind of bothering me at the moment, um, effectively, some of you may or may not know that I have injured myself. I'm very into my golf at the moment. In fact, so into it, I've got two different golf channels available if you want to go check it out. A solo one and the Absolute Bandits, which I run with Oakley. Um, and yeah, just hitting too many balls has caused me to get tennis elbow. Very ironic, I know. But I just want to talk about a bit of mental health because right now my mental health is genuinely the lowest it's been for a long, long time. Um, I am a very focused individual, so when I'm into something and I want to do something, then I really do invest myself 100% into it. I don't do anything by half. So I was really into the sort of like getting better at golf and having this injury means that I can't play, I can't even pick up a club and it's actually quite painful uh, just to stretch my arm out straight. So you can imagine just everyday tasks like taking a plug out of a socket, it really hurts. And so, yeah, it's really been bugging me and like golf was this thing that I was using at the, or have been recently using as sort of like my time to get my head straight, clear out, get some exercise in, get all those endorphins going and all that sort of stuff. And because I can't play it, I've just literally, it's all just gone off a cliff really, I won't lie. So um, yeah, just struggling a little bit, but um, I've got, I, I've got, I, I want to think positively. So things I'm going to be doing for the next like, couple of weeks whilst we try to get this thing sorted I'm going to the physio for it I'm going to have potentially um, a steroid injection to sort of get it healing a bit quicker because it's taken six weeks so far I'm going to be doing some uh, running I'm going to go out and run I'm going to do some squats I'm going to do anything that's lower body related uh, to get my exercise in because that is really where a lot of uh, my problems start is when I'm not doing exercise that's when things go drastically wrong so yeah that's what I'm going to be hoping to do do a whole load of exercise and just invest myself into FIFA a bit for the next couple of weeks because obviously the new games out and all that sort of stuff I want to get better I want to continue to develop um, team takedown for you as well which we will be doing so my basic plan is I'm going to try and bring as many new opponents into team takedown as possible until we run out and when we run out of new opponents we have to start re-inviting people back we'll change the number of rounds to 12 rounds and we will add a C safety slash block feature we'll just might call it block for, for easy sake so people don't get confused and effectively you'll be able to have your two questions uh, and have a guess at the player but the block will mean that the reveal section like the you know you reveal the card afterwards that won't happen so yeah I, I'm, I'm at the moment just playing around with a lot of stuff we're still experimenting I hope you guys are still enjoying the team takedown series and uh, yeah, if you are, just make sure you drop a big old thumbs up. Go check out all of my other channels, also my TikToks and that. And uh, yeah, let's go and dive in to today's episode. So we're now in the studio and we have our opponent here with us today. It's none other than Scott. Hello, everybody. It's the return. I'm looking forward to it. Mate, it's uh, exciting. Obviously, we've had many a battle on FIFA 22 to FIFA 21. Yeah. Uh, and it's a brand new year, a brand new team takedown format. I are you, are you excited to try out the new format? I am. I, I've not. Uh, I've been a bit all over the place with YouTube, so I've not been able to see how everyone else has fared with uh, the rule changes and stuff. But I saw a f the first couple of episodes. It seems difficult. Um, well, it seems. I don't know, very different, which I'm really intrigued about, especially the later rounds when you've got so yes. much info. I think that it's the great leveller um, having the, the series work this way because it feels like even if you are completely on the wrong path for one of the things, you quite clearly or quickly get brought back and you have an opportunity to guess players. I, I, yeah. I personally love it, so yep. it's a lot of fun. Um, and uh, today we're doing Paqueta. Like, he's already like an OP player. Um, yeah. He's got five star skills and four star weak foot, and they've given him a road to the knockouts. Um, so yeah, really, really nice looking card. He can play cam, centre mid, or centre forward. Um, so we can play him in any one of those positions if we want. And uh, I just think this card looks really, really good. I didn't even realise yes. his preferred foot was left, to be honest. Um, neither did I. Yeah, there's something. We'll have to remember that when we get into the game. Um, but it's interesting. It feels like the Premier League have just 
played FIFA 22, gone, <laughs> who got a team of the season last year, and then just tried to bring them all here. It feels like the, the Premier League is absolutely bulging with amazing players, and yeah. the other leagues have definitely been, well, plundered. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, I if he's anything like his... I, I know the game plays very differently this year, obviously, but his cards last year were so good. I remember you making me discard his moments, I think it was. The first one that got oh, five yeah. star skills. Yeah. And that was heartbreaking. But then he just got a foot yeah, birthday. Like, like, a foot birthday, two weeks like later, two weeks later. later. Yeah, so. classic EA. Classic <laughs> EA. We'll release one special card, then release another special yeah. card. How many Valverdes we got? You know what I'm saying? I, oh, I um, can't believe it. So, yeah. Uh, how did you fare in Weekend League this week? I'm assuming you played it. Uh, I did. I went 14 and 6, which I was happy with. Considering some good. of the that's losses, way losses that's way, were stupid. That's way better than what I did. I still, I, I, I didn't, wasn't really tracking how well I was doing, but I still got the the three red player picks, the team of the week pack. So I don't yeah. know what rank that makes me. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, nine or I eleven, was, something like something like that. I was, the last I was relative. It was definitely, it was definitely more wins than losses, but I, yeah, I didn't really count. Didn't really count, and we gave the last one away. So that, that's what um, I was aiming for. So I, I mean, the fact I got more than that, I'll take it. I might. I feel like something to do with the matchmaking was a little bit off because my games didn't get. I swear, last year it always got harder the further forward, uh, the further yeah, through it, you yeah. got. But it didn't a lot of seem people said this time. Yeah, a lot of said, a lot of the pros were saying that the matchmaking was a lot looser this year. That they came up against much um, easier opponents further mm. in uh, than they, they were expecting. It did get harder, but they were a lot easier than they were expecting. But that might yeah. just be because there's a huge influx of players this year. True. And so there's more people playing Weekend League at the start rather than the uh, tough nuts at the end. Yeah. Um, I have picked a formation, Scott. Have you got one on your screen? Um, I'll tell you what. Why don't you ask me a question I... or have a guess whilst you have a think about your own formation? Okay. Uh, Mr. Paquetta, I will say... Are you using any? Are you using a narrow formation? Ooh, interesting question. I am, yeah. Now the problem is, I haven't experimented, so I don't really know what's good this year. Ah, uh, so I'll have to base it off last year and say I'm using the four-three-one-two. Oh, that is so painful. Yeah, I am. That's so okay. frustrating. I so thought you'd go for the 4 3 2 1 with those two centre forwards in it. I did look formation. at that, yeah, because it is now. Oh, uh, this is the first. One. That's the first time I've actually tried to pull that formation. I still I haven't actually used it at all this year, so I don't even know if it works. Uh, right. But good guess. Uh, you are the second person to guess a formation, not straight up, but um, I am now rotating through the formations, mate, so tell mm. me when to stop. Stop. 4 2 3 1 the second. Right, he's going to cam then. Okay. Yep. Not a bad formation. It'd be funny <laughs> if you were using that as your as your first choice. I'll say if you got straight up four two three one with all the KMs. No. What have you gone for? Uh, I've gone with four three three four. Ooh, yeah, very nice formation. Very, very nice. I'm not sure if I like the winger formations, the four this three threes this year. Is all that I like I built my normal team in this formation and haven't changed it since. So. Right, okay. So it's all you know. It's, it's, yeah, pretty it's much. It just feels comfortable. It's exactly. It feels comfortable. Yep. All right. Well, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to go away. We're going to build a two-league, two-nation hybrid around this Lucas Paqueta. You're allowed to use one hero, and any player can go into any position. If you want to see the teams we're about to build, uh, keep on watching. But if you don't want to see them, so you can play along with the guessing element of this series, now's the time to look away and wait for me to say look back. So look away. Okay guys, on the screen for your viewing pleasure are two teams that me and Scott want to use in the upcoming game. Uh, it will be our missions to try and stop that from happening. So let's go get into guessing and see what happens. Okay, if you were looking away, return those eyes to the screen because we're ready to get into it. As the guest Scott, you're going to get to go first. Where would you like to start? <sighs> Nowadays, there's no logical start point. There is so, no logic. You literally go wherever you want. Let's go left back. Okay. Does this player link to Paquetta at all? He does not. Good. No points of Kenneth B. If given. Right. Do they play in League 1 or 
La Liga. They do. Okay. But I'm going to go with Nunmenge. I haven't got Nuno Menge. I have, however, got the main man, Furlan Mendy. Wow, okay. You went big. I did indeed. Uh, I'm going to go for your right winger, mate. Uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal your question. Does he link to Paqueta at all, or give any chemistry points at all? He does. He does give chemistry points. Right. Okay. Is he a Brazilian outside of the Prem? That he is. Okay. Right. So what are we talking about? This is probably somewhere where I'm gonna need to jump on to old foot beneath, beneath. or foot wizard, depending on however you like to. The role. It's crazy that Foothead doesn't seem to be, well, no. in my world, it doesn't seem to be uh, as... No, it as used, used to be the one. It the used one to be only. a go, yeah. And now it's full Arteta's third in the pecking order for me, I won't lie. Definitely. Uh, right, okay, so if we just go Nation, Popular Brazil. Players that can play there, we've got lots of icons. Uh, we then have Rafinha from Barcelona. You can't be using Gabriel Jesus, you can't be using Anthony. You can't, well, you could be using Rodrigo, you can't be using Lucas, and then you've got Felipe Anderson. Realistically, I think I'm just going to guess at the best one here. Because there's no information. I'm going to get the information regardless in just a second's time. So I'm flipping between Rodrigo and Rafinha. Mm -hmm. um, I think Rafinha is far better, especially if you do have the uh, road to the knockout oh, cup, which I actually managed, yeah, which I actually managed to pack out of a 45k pack yesterday. That's uh, pretty Him being, good. yeah, my best players I've managed to pack so far this year. A little bit of anecdote for you there, guys. I will say, have you got Rafinha? No. Oh, I had Rodrigo. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was so close to punting. All right, okay. The information <coughs> is gained though, so yeah. It's your turn, my friend. Where would you like to go? I'd like to go right centre back. Okay. And ask if this player links to Paqueta. He does, yeah. Okay. I'll ask if they are Brazilian from outside the Prem. They are. <sighs> Militao makes the most sense. But there's multiple good options. I have to say, have you got Ed Militao? I don't. I got away okay. with it. I've got Bremer, mate. Yeah. I, I would have loved to have said him, but... <sighs> yeah, lo logic, logic. Dictate, logic yeah. dictates, doesn't it? Exactly. So, imagine if you hadn't said him and it turned out you would have been kicking yourself. Exactly. I mean, kicking yourself exactly. more so than uh, the other way around. Right, okay. So... Um, right, I'm going to have a quick look. Brazilians from Real Madrid, I think. Maybe just. Hmm. I'm gonna think how you might have done this. Like, what route could you have ended up taking? Like, you could be using like a combination of like Modric and Kovacic. You could be using like I don't know, Cruz and maybe Kai Havertz. Rudiger Kai Havertz. Um, there's not any Uruguayans or Austrians that we need to worry about. Maybe you're using some sort of perfect link. You've got Vinny Jr. and Edda Militao to do that. You could be using a host of Spanish players. You could be using, like, French players as well. I mean, there are a couple of French players. I think I like the idea of, like, looking at your left back now. Okay. Um, I will say, does your left back link to Rodrigo at all? Left back to Rodrigo, no. He doesn't. Right, okay. So that might mean... I think that I'm going to have to send Prem. Just assume he's a non-Brazilian Prem player here. Um, rather than trying to work out if it's Prem and then having a guess at the Prem. Because there's loads of them. Yeah. So who would we have from the Prem that would do some form of work for you? Obviously, you can't have a strong link. You can't have, like, Reen and Lodi, for example. But I don't think West Ham have a particularly good left back. So... Trying to think of players that you could then, like, nations that you could then link across to. Like, does Real Madrid have a Portuguese player, a Scottish player? They obviously have a French player, so I could look at Digne or maybe Cucurella. Uh, Tierney, not going to happen. Uh, I mean, you might be using, like, Frankie de Jong and Malassia. Does your player play for 
Manchester United or Chelsea? No. Uh, I don't really know what to say then. I haven't really got any good things to go off. I mean, you might be using something like Emerson, for example, and then be going into Serie A. I'll say have you got Kieran Tierney. I do. Oh, yes. That's, that's a Scott move. That's a that, I'm in your head, mate. I'm living rent free. I'm living rent free. Come on. Right. Uh, okay. I feel good about that one. Right centre back. Okay. Does this player play in London? No. Oh, okay. That's a good question. I like that. Yeah, because it would have taken both West Ham. Yeah. I'm thinking like I'm thinking Saliba. That's a, that's a logical, yeah. Yeah, it takes out like a lot of good Prem players, but it might it not does. be Prem at all. That's the thing. I think I'll say, does your player play in La Liga? No. All right, so we're just gonna have to default back to a Prem player here. I think I might have to say him. I mean, he's a good card as well. Have you got Diego Carlos? No. Okay, fair enough. Who do you have there, my friend? I have Sula. Ooh, okay. Another lead coming into play. All right, I like it. I like it. Yeah. All right, okay. Okay, okay. Um, oh, goodness me. I'll go for your left. Actually, let me... Oh, no, no, no. Sure, why not? I'll go for your left DM. All right, left CDM. Here we go. Does this player... Link to at least two of the three that I know. So Paqueta, Bremer, Ferland Mendy. Does he link to two out of the three? Yeah, at least two. At least two, so it could be two or three. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Interesting. Okay. Does this player play in Serie A? Oh, he's punted and he's got it right. He does play in Serie A, yeah. Okay. I think I have to... I have to go Juve here. So if it isn't, then you're living life right now. I'm going to guess... Locatelli. I don't have Locatelli. No, I actually have uh, the new uh, mini-release Benessa. Or Benessa. Ah, okay. Have, isn't the, uh, the Algerian fella. Okay. Right, I've got a bit of a debate here because I'm almost certain you're going to have a Brazilian Arsenal player in here somewhere. And the two positions you could have them are striker and left wing. I think Gabriel Jesus is just way too obvious. So I'm going to go for your left winger. Okay. I'm going to say, is he Brazilian? No. Okay. Now, what does Dortmund have? Got... F-wingers, I think it's just the organ hazard. I can't really see you wanting to use that, though. Is your player either Timo Werner or Leroy Sané? No. Okay, so he's not Brazilian. He's neither of those two. Hmm. Do Arsenal have... An, do West Ham have a good left winger? Do I've got to quickly look at Premier League. I can't really see anyone that I like the look out of all of these. <laughs> but I'd want to put in my team anyway. Yeah. I think I'm going to say, I think I'm going to send a hero. I'm going to say, have you got Freddy Lundberg? No. Uh, who have you got? Torgan Hazard. Oh, you did go for Torgan. All right, fair enough. I, I discounted it. It just doesn't suit. It's just, I'm not too, I'm not too, I'm not going to fret about him. No. Let's <laughs> he, put it that way. No, he's, he's not. <laughs> he, he makes things work. That's the only reason he's he there. makes things. Yeah, he makes <laughs> things work. What, what a dream. Um, All right. Right. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where the hell your chem is going to come from with all of this. It's difficult. And I'm wondering whether you've got one of... Whether it's really obvious that you've got like Ben Rama or Riyadh. Ben Rama would obviously get you your Algeria chem with Benica. Um, and a strong link to Paqueta. So I'll go left mid. Okay. And I'm going to ask the same question I did at DM. Does he link to at least two of the players that I know about? <laughs> okay, the players you know now are 
Benneker, Mendy, Paqueta, and Bremer. It does, yeah. Is one of those players Paqueta? Yes. Right. I could also be Vinny Jr. And then I'm worried. Um, oh, it could just be any Brazilian, actually, as well. Maybe I should have asked for one of the others. Ugh. Uh, let's quickly see. Brazilian left mid. And Martinelli works as well. That's annoying. Left wingers. Nene would work. But then you're in a fourth league. That's bold. Vinny. Right. Let's just say the one that I thought. Is it Ben Rama? It's not, no. You're going to hate it, mate. It's actually Vinny Jr. Okay. <sighs> Dear, okay. Right. I'm going to go for your striker. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Is this player Brazilian? No. Does this player play in La Liga? Uh, yes. Ah, uh, okay. I think there's only one player I can say here because I'm just looking around thinking, how are you going to get the links to Rodrigo? There's plenty of ways you can get the links to Rodrigo, but only one really good one at striker that would give you, like, multiple chem points. So I have to say, do you have Benzema? Yeah. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Get in. Right, okay. That might... I was actually shooting Trossard the whole way through that. I thought you might have got, like, Trossard in your team. His inform, because it can play striker, strangely. Yeah. He can play, like, every position. Cam, left wing, left back. <laughs> He's mental. Um, right, okay, that's good. So, how many rounds is that? Like, do I want to go aggressive here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is actually round number ten. I'm going for your okay. goalie. I got to. Okay. Is he goalkeeper French? No. Hmm, okay. Does he play in the Premier League? No. <sighs> right. I think there's only one player I can say once again, mate, because now I've seen that Thorgan, I can only think of one player. Have you got Courtois? I do. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Oh, big. Big guesses there. Big guesses. I think the fact that I flipped it early and got... The, because this game has actually turned into a lot of who starts first. Yeah. And then, you know, you take up a lot of the rounds because realistically, Scott had four rounds and I had six, which gave me a lot more information just because I got lucky early on to get an extra round in. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure... I think we could do a little test if you wanted to, to see. I'm almost certain you would get the very next player that you went for. So where, where would you go? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. I'll run it just for just for interest, say. Just like I'm just interested to see because I'm almost certain at this point of the game you know enough to get pretty much all the players unless there's like a real bogey player in there. You say that though. The the problem is though that a hero or icon really changes things. And maybe it I does. I can tell you now one. for free. Yeah, I can tell you now for free. I don't have one. Oh really? I would have gone. I think I would have gone left centre back and asked if they're prem. They're not Prem, though. <laughs> Seria. They are, yeah. You got Kalulu? No, I actually have Tamori. Wow, okay, maybe I would have got away with it. All right, I'll run you through my squad, mate. Um, I like your team a lot, actually. I think it's pretty pretty inventive. Um, it's not my like team. <laughs> yeah. If you'd gone... Yeah, like, it's thing. the thing is, if you'd gone different positions, you would have got stuff. Like, Pogba is in my team. He's at right CDM. Okay. And you like you would have said you said him at left CDM, so you would have said him at right CDM on the same line of questioning. If you'd gone right mid instead of left mid, you would have got Mares because you'd already said his name. He was like on the tip of your tongue. Yep. So we've good. gone uh, Ariola in goal, Kyle Walker right back. We've got uh, Bremer right centre back, Tamori, Berlin Mendy. We've got Benzema ourselves up top with Vinny Junior at left wing, Benasser, Mares, and Pogba. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm in trouble. Um, mm -hmm. right, well, Benzema, gone, Rodrigo is in, uh, and Courtois, so there's the three Real Madrid boys, Torgan mm -hmm. Hazard, uh, Sula right centre-back and Emre Chan left centre-back, uh, centre-mid, 
Um, inform Ericsson, inform Dallo, inform Saliba to fill up the last few slots. Mm, I knew Saliba was in there somewhere. Yeah. I just didn't know where to find him. That's yeah. why, yeah, frustrating that was. But it is what it is. All right, well, guys, what we'll do is we'll go and buy up our teams and we'll show you what the teams look like with the bronzes in there. Okay, guys, here are the teams. And in purchasing these players, I've realized that I've built a blooming expensive team. Um, <laughs> I even had to go and complete an SBC because I didn't realize this better serve was one. Uh, how are your bronzes looking, Scott? Not good. Um, Not good. And it therefore also means that Torgan Hazard is even more of a detriment considering I've lost my striker. So it's you gonna be Rodrigo <laughs> on his own. It's like you basically. kept the rubbish one. You kept the rubbish one, but lost the good one. Yeah. So Shan Juan Juan up front, six foot two. I mean, lengthy boy. He might be good. A lengthy boy. Uh, <laughs> Mr. De Silva in goal, absolute hero. And then Wu Junji at left back, another six foot What's two mean? boy. So it's not good. Hope the rest of my defense is sick. The midfield's yep. good, but. I'm worried about scoring goals. Yeah, uh, that's. I mean, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling fine. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, Paquette is rubbish because that will make you even worse. Yeah, and I've got it enough would. players to compensate for him. Yeah. Right, guys, we're going to dive into a game now. Let's go see how this thing pans out. All right, we have made it to the arena. Best of luck, Scott. Thank you very much. Got? Same to you. Big Bateson presiding over the affair. <laughs> yeah. Come on, you goat. Let's do it. Yeah. Torgan! Oh! God, Ariola! Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Find a bit oh, of space dear. out here. And then he's got the ratty outside of that. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh. oh, that's beautiful. It's Paquetta! Ta -ta 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 -ta. I mean, I know he's bronze, <laughs> but. <laughs> Come on. Can't save the outside of the foot shots, mate. You might try your lengthy goats, but I'm more of Straight an abusive outside of the... I know, it's outside of the foot, though. Impossible to save. Impossible. I need Red. your love. Well done, Ariola. How was it not a foul? Oh, it's lovely. Oh Look God. at that. Get on the floor. <laughs> Feel Bonnie. the wrath of my Algerian prince. Oh, oh, what oh. a challenge, Sula. Go! Oh. Uh, okay. You know what? I think, uh, I think I'll take that. I think I'll take that at halftime. So will I, to be honest. <laughs> there's a few gaps. There's a few gaps appearing, but neither of us are really capitalised on no. opportunities that have been presented. I mean, I've got one goal, but it's against, it was almost against the run of play, to be honest. A little bit, but I mean, my text just fall down with my striker. Mm. I've basically got to score with a, a player that shouldn't be in that position. Oh, there's space. It's Kareem the Dream. We don't miss! Oh, so close. These look like my power shots. Pun? <laughs> don't know, to be honest. He's driving for gold, boys. Take him out. No! Oh, oh, he's trying thought they the always go the in! <laughs> Not always. <laughs> oh! Uh. No! Ah! Oh. No! no thank you, Ariola. <laughs> if in doubt, just let your goalkeeper sort you out. Oh, I'm not going to get it to him. Oh, maybe I am. Wow, it's what Kyle. a ball. Oh, oh, oh. Game, oh, stop being stupid, game. Scott's giving it everything right now. I'm to trying. No, Beautiful. what oh, is that? that is super unfortunate. Come I think on. Been... There's space for him over here. Take it away. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Finally! Oh, that's a great finish. <laughs> okay. That's a great finish. Oh, fair, fair. Oh. fair, fair. It looks like we might be going to extra time here, guys. Oh, don't say that. Oh, that's so bad. Come on, there's time. Oh, there ain't. Can't move. Oh, my players are blocked off. Oh, oh my God. Surely! <gasps> oh, oh my dying. god, are you kidding me? No way! Oh my god! How is Ariola getting out jumped by a Shan Huan Huan? <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god, I can't believe I've lost with the last kick of the game. Well played. Well played. <laughs> That's ridiculous. 
Oh, I knew the whole way through that one like, one goal could cost me like two hundred thousand coins plus, and yeah. it probably will because I've got so many expensive players Things on in the this line. squad. Yeah. Oh my Can't god! Believe. I just couldn't. You just closed me down so well in that second half. It was crazy. Like I just didn't even create. I don't even think I had an opportunity to score. Like I didn't mm. even have a shot yeah. or a long shot or something. Yeah. Wow, we could be in a lot of trouble here, guys. A lot of trouble. There's very few players that I would be happy to lose. I think Benzema would probably be the top of the list, to be honest. <laughs> All right, mate. You've got one pick. Where do you want to go? The team is shuffled. Left DM. It's not 200, but it is almost 100,000 coins. You got Tamori. Okay. That is painful. Yeah. That is painful. Oh, am I going to ever have a better performance against Scott <laughs> in the guessing in this year? With a better team, more mismatched, and I yeah. still can't beat him. That is not a good sign. I'm not going to lie. All right, let me go chuck this man into an SBC. All right, guys. Well, Tamori is in the uh, SBC. It is a gold upgrade. Uh, just clearing out my club of all rares, of all players, really. There you go. Off. He goes into the oblivion. What a joy. And what we got to do now, guys, is go away and record one on Scott's <laughs> channel. Not got my hopes up for this one. I'm not going to lie. But if you do want to go check it out, feel free. Scott's link down in the description. Also, go check out yesterday's FIFA bingo um, against Andy. 200 player packs were opened, like two rare gold player packs. So go check that out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace. In a bit.